belts. Now the cushion is the parachute. Here's the rip cord right here. But like all I right, said, yeah. you will not use it. All Let right. me do all the work. So that way I know everything was done. And my little uh -huh. check sheet in my head. Right. Now for takeoff, taxi, and landing, I do ask you to keep your hands and feet away from the controls. Right. Just because our insurance company does not cover you guys taking off, taxiing, or landing there. Well, I'm just, I'm just, feel, I'm just feeling ah, that pedal's good. We got a full right wing, which is 92 gallons, and about 30 in the left. Yeah, about 30. Yeah. Okay. Now, when he gives you the airplane, let him know you got the. Uh, make sure you let him know you got the airplane, and same thing when you give it back. Make sure you don't let go of the controls until he tells you he's got the airplane. The spinning prop looks strange due to an anomaly created by image pickup devices on digital camcorders. After the magneto and prop checks, we're cleared onto runway 19 right and we're ready to go. As we cross the San Diego freeway and establish the climb, I get control of the airplane. I was told that the rudder was very sensitive, and if I put my feet squarely on the pedals, I was sure to over-control. The technique is toes on the bottom of the rudder pedals as only the slightest pressure are necessary, and that was certainly the case. When we got to the practice area near Lake Elsinore, Jim had me do some turns to see how I could handle the rudder. Satisfied with that, it was now time for aerobatics. The first couple of rolls I did were pretty ragged, but after a while I got the hang of it. Here's that rolling reverse we saw in the Raptor video. A 
four-point hesitation rule. Another rolling reverse. My first loop in a P-51. Jim said do another roll, but this time put the stick hard over. I said, okay. Try another loop. As we get nearer the airport, Jim will put some flap out to help slow the airplane down. Jim's got some more flap out, and here comes the gear down. Red lights in transit. And now we got one, two, three green lights. Gear down, locked. And our pilot instructor, Jim Harley, turns the Mustang on to final. Runway 19 right, John Wayne Airport, Santa Ana, California. Wonderful. Terrible, wasn't it? Oh, it was just awful. Oh, yeah. It was so awful that I'm going to do it again in the end of August.